Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. I forgot to film my intro so I'm just going to jump straight into the video and creating this purple smoky eye and if you want to know how to recreate it then please stay tuned. So to begin with I've already applied my eyebrows and used Pilo B's base all over the eye and just get my hair out of the way. The eyeshadows I'm using today are from Makeup Pro Store, they're the Makeup Studio ones and I'm starting off with shade 17 on a fluffy brush and just blending this all throughout the crease. I'm making sure to like really blend it quite high up and just make sure it's really smooth and soft on the edges. Just take your time and do small circular motions just to ensure you get a seamless blend. I'm now taking the shade 304 which is this purple shade and I'm applying this into the crease but slightly lower than the pink shade using a Real Techniques blending brush. And again I'm using those small circular and window wiper motions just to ensure it's seamless. Just slowly add product to build up the depth that you want and then when you're happy with how everything looks just take your previous brush and blend out the edges and then go back in and deepen if you need to. I'm now taking this lavender shade from Makeup Studio which is number 12 and I'm applying this on a So So X Kaylee crease brush and just applying into the very crease of the eye just to add depth and again building up colour. And again going back in with our previous brushes just to blend out the edges. This just makes everything so seamless and makes the eye look multi-dimensional where we can see all the colours. I'm now taking Peel Away's base and just carving out the crease. I'm using a large flat brush to begin with and just using pattern and swiping motions and then I'm going in with a smaller detailed brush just to sharpen everything up. Using this smaller brush just helps to create a really crisp line and make sure that we're not going too far up in the crease. And I'm now just patting over the edges with the big brush just to make sure that it's a smooth finish. Taking that Real Techniques brush, I'm just blending out the outer edge and then taking the lavender shade again on a small flat brush and just patting this all over the eyelid about three quarters of the way. And once again, blending out the edges. Blending is key to get a seamless eye look. I'm now using this pigment from Makeup Atelier. It's PP20 and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm applying this on the inner corner and about a third of the way in just to meet that lavender shade. I absolutely adore these pigments. They are so shiny and just gorgeous colors, so unique. And this is how we're looking now. Uh, you could just leave it like this, but I'm gonna be extra, so I'm taking this Kryolan Gel and this glitter from Makeup Atelier, an absolutely stunning glitter with a blue purple shift, and I'm just applying this over where we applied that lavender shade, just for a bit of sparkle. And this is how it should look. I'm now taking Makeup Studio Black Cream Liner and I'm lining the lash line and I'm angling it up towards the crease, quite high up. Bringing it up on this outer edge will help to create a really smoky liner. And I'm just taking this little bullet brush and just blending it out with more of that liner and then blending with our previous brushes again just to make everything really seamless. And this is how it should look. So at this point I just clean everything up, when you're using glitters and dark shades like this there is a lot of fallout so you do want to clean that up and I'm also just sharpening the outer edge just so it's slightly more winged looking because I think that suits my eye shape. I'm then taking my Figs and Rouge primer and applying this all over my face. I really like this primer, it gives a semi matte finish but it's really tacky so makeup just sticks to it and it lasts all day long. I'm now using one of my favourite foundations which is the Illamasqua Skin Base and I'm using it on a Be Bold tan brush I think. I'll try and link it below but I'm just using pressing and pouncing motions with this brush just to apply the foundation all over my face. This helps to create like a really flawless full coverage look with minimal product and it's a technique I've been using recently and really loving. So I'm just applying this everywhere and I'm also going to apply down my neck because I do know that this is a bit dark for me so I'm just going to try and blend it out. I'm now taking the L'Oreal More Than Concealer and I'm applying this in all the usual spots so under my eyes, chin and forehead. This is an incredible concealer, it's so full coverage so I'm just taking it underneath my eyes and then using the excess on my chin and then I'm just using pattern and pressing motions again just to blend everything in and go back in with my foundation brush just to blend the edges. 
And then to make sure everything's set and stays in place, I'm taking this airspun powder, which I love, and a tapered fluffy brush and just applying anywhere that we applied that concealer. And again, I'm just using those pressing and patting motions just to make sure everything's really smooth. You don't want to swipe your powder as this will lift the product underneath and just make it a muddy mess. Now I'm taking my favourite bronzer, which is the Be Bold Contour Kit, and I'm just applying this on my cheekbones, on the forehead and under my chin. And it does look a bit patchy here, but I just continue to persist and blend out and it will look seamless. I'm now taking the contour shade from this palette and just using it underneath my cheekbones just to sharpen them and shape my face. I'm also taking this underneath my chin, well just to disguise my double chin because nobody needs that. And then I'm mixing the two shades and applying this on the same fluffy brush just on my nose just for a sun kissed look. I'm now taking this bourgeois powder and just sharpening up that contour and again sharpening the sides of my nose. And at this point we're looking very matte and flat so I am taking my Milani Luminoso blush on a Real Techniques Geo Fibre brush and just applying this on the apples of my cheeks sweeping upwards. And I'm also just going to sweep a little bit across the bridge of my nose. I'm now taking this one from Makeup Forever which is a more pinky tone just because I want to tie it in more with the eyes. We're looking a wee bit powdery so I'm just using the set and spray from Dupree just to remove that and set everything in place. I'm now taking this amazing highlighter which is Beyond Powder from Illamasqua and it's in the shade OMG. I'm just applying this to all the high points of the face, the nose, the chin and the cheekbones just for a gorgeous glow. I'm obsessed with this highlighter, it just melts into the skin and just looks so glowy and fresh. I'm now taking this gel liner from Illamasqua as well and I'm applying it into the waterline and slightly smushing into the lower lash line. Then with a pencil brush and shade 304, I'm just blending this out. And you can blend out as much as you want, as smoky as you want. And then I'm going in with a small blender and the pink shade and just blending that out slightly further. I like to make my under eyes quite smoky, which is why I do bring it down that bit further. And I think it just makes it really sultry and just nice. But again, it's personal preference. I'm now just taking a clean brush and just sweeping away any excess powder underneath the eyes. I'm now adding my mascara and lashes. I love these ones from Prima Lash. They're in the style for real. To line my lips, I'm using the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade Soft Spoken and I'm just slightly overdrawing the shape of my lips. I like to go kind of straight across in the cupid's bow just to get a really pouty look because I've got a quite a small mouth so I don't like to really overdraw the sides. So I just do that and then just bring them right into the corners of my mouth. And again, I repeat the same sort of step on the bottom lip and just make the center part just quite full and thick. And I then just fill in the outer corners of my lip as well. I'm just using two lipsticks from Illamasqua today. I'm using the first one, which is in the shade Bang, all over the lips, using a small lip brush. And then I'm taking Gravity and just using this on the outer corners just to help make the lips look fuller. You will see what I mean when I get to that part of the video, but it just helps make the lip look plump when the center part is slightly lighter in color. And you could just leave it like this, but I like a glossy lip, so I'm taking this Artist Plexigloss and just applying it to the center of the lip. And then using this Fenty Gloss Balm in shade Confetti and applying all over the lip for a super glossy look. And the look is complete. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, let me know down below. Leave a little like and a comment, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!